Ooh, I'm still <laughs> still a little sleepy from the, We was up late last night, wasn't we? We was up a little late last night. Yeah. How many people went and got some baby oil last night? That's what I wanna see. How many folks went in and got them some baby oil? I forgot my picture. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, good to see everybody in the house. Lil Farmer 73 here. Let's get it cracking. Yeah, yeah, uh, who was that, Monica? Say, guava, guava, my friends, guava, everybody. Said, uh, yeah, how many people went off, got, how many people went off, got them some of that baby oil? Yeah, I didn't use that knockoff brand. I wasn't in the mood for experimenting, you know. To me, I did can cancer. It has cologne in it. Yeah, see, I told you, I, I don't, I don't like a, I don't like doing too much. Don't, don't switch up. You get people confused. See, I don't, want, I don't want my baby oil. I will, I don't want my baby oil to smell like grown folk stuff. Then stuff start, signals start getting crossed. And it messed your head up. <laughs> hey, uh, who was that? Uh, Lorna, how you doing? You my favorite too. You my favorite too. Yeah, I, I don't. Baby oil need to smell like babies, and, and, and you know what I'm saying. You get your signals crossed. You start putting putting a uh, uh, brew cologne and stuff in it, and cool water, baby. It ain't baby oil no more. Uh, let me see. It's the same baby oil with nope, with low, nope, nope, nope. See, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you something right now. Keep, keep it all the same. Don't switch up. Don't switch up none of that. Just oh yeah yeah brew brew thirty three. Leave, man, leave that out of baby oil. That don't belong in baby oil at all. None of that. None of that. Leave that smell like powder. <laughs> How y'all doing? How many people, because I, I, listen, I say this all the time, but I really am on a schedule. I got some business to tend to, and I ain't got all day to do it. How many people... Got some old busted apples or something. Let me tell you something. I tried to eat more of them apples. Look here. Tried to eat more of them apples. These is the freaking worst apples I've ever tasted in my life. Every apple I keep getting out of the store is awful. It's awful. Every apple, every, I don't care if it's, it look like it's fresh. That's so mealy. But usually we get mad about them apples. We ain't gotta get mad about them apples no more. Cause now we're gonna start. I'm gonna show you. It ain't all gotta go just to the compost. Cause from now on, just throw it in a vinegar jar. We're going to make vinegar. We're going to be making a little bit of wine. Okay. Even you can use your potato peels. When you peel your potato. Same thing. You, could, you still make your wine out of potato peels. You still make your vinegar out of potato peels. Stop, stop. We, we throw away too much stuff. And you know something funny? We one of the only countries to do that. We have been conditioned to, to waste, to be wasteful. Like the reason we have been conditioned to be wasteful because it's profitable. The more wasteful that we are, the more stuff you got to keep running out to purchase. So if you, if you waste every five seconds, then of course you're just going to turn around and just keep buying stuff, keep buying stuff, keep buying stuff. Uh... Hey, Arctic Hell, why do you keep asking me that? Why do you keep asking me that, man? I don't understand that. 
I'm trying to uh, look. Look here. Look here. Uh, I'm gonna do this, man. You gonna you gonna get you get you a nap. All right. Cause man, I don't know what it is with that, but man, that's that's driving me nuts, bro. I don't know what it is with that right there, but that 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 gotta stop. You done done that too many times last night. Say, uh, <clears throat> so back to, back to the back to the. So everybody, you got your apples. I even see this. I got a pineapple right here. This one is good. This one is so ripe. That the whole top just kind of fell out. And it almost is borderline 11. Kind of smell a little odd. Just a little bit. So what I plan on doing. I'm going to cut all the skin off of this. Now this is dedicated. To my brother. Dan Permaculture Food Forest. Everybody if you can go holler at my friend on his channel here on YouTube. Dan Permaculture food for us. My brother said, Led, you know I'm about to do the pineapple. I was like, yeah, pineapple. I had these two pineapples already for something completely different. I'm going to take the skins off of these and I'm going to make uh, vinegar out of that too. Let me see. My pineapple didn't root. I don't know what to tell you. It's... I got to do this. Because I said this, I said this last night. I said this just last night. Sometimes family, sometimes you got to do exactly what somebody tell you. Sometimes you got to do exactly what somebody tell you. Don't try to throw your twist on every doggone thing. Don't try to throw your twist on everything. Sometimes do exactly what somebody tell you or instruct you to do. And I'm telling you, after you successful with their way, then try it your way. Sometimes, family, do exactly what folks tell you to do. Do exactly what they tell you to do. And then I have people say, well, I'm going to use rainwater. I'm going to use pond scum water. I'm a, Man, I didn't say none of that. I just got a little bit of water out the burk. They said, you can use the sink water. I believe it. I believe all that stuff work. I'm not taking nothing from nobody. But this right here, I have not had one fail yet. And I have done nothing to them. Nothing special. Everybody want to try something. Well, I'm going to use um, electrolyte water. I'm going to use smart water. And then they tell me it done went bad, man. I'm telling you, dude, Silver Stack Prepper, what's up, my brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, so let's get, let's get into this real quick. Again, because I'm, I'm veering off course. So, uh, so you just going to call me out always, try to put a twist. You put a twist on it after you try somebody else. Do it the right way first. I don't, not, like I said, nothing wrong with putting your twist on it. Do it. Do it the way somebody, for instance, somebody... Years ago, uh, showed me how to do a. I, I ain't even gonna get into that. That's a whole nother video. Whole nother video. But then I ain't calling you out. I ain't calling you out. I'm just, you know, I'm messing with you anyway. Look, I promise you. I wish, I wish you was near me. You could have one of these pineapples because I got plenty of them started. I kid you not. I ain't calling you out. Uh, Let's see how many people show of hands got your fruit. I don't care what it is. You got your fruit. Turf therapy in the house. What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. I was listening and driving to y'all show yesterday. 
so um you got your you got your fruit everybody got your fruit you got your water you got your sugar or whatever sweetener you want to use or like i said and i didn't get a chance to explain it in the video you don't have to use no sweeteners you don't have to it's just going it might take a little longer that's all you don't even need no water but you won't get as much and it'll take a little long. Other than that, that's it. So I'ma just, I'ma just get right into it. Now, uh, I also remembered to uh, bring out the yeast that I like. This is one of my favorite yeast. If you wanna turn it into uh, something else, I always say this, it, uh, EC111, I always say 111, don't I? 1118. It's another one too I use, it's just all ones. But this one right here is what I use to turn it into something else. The Lavalin, I don't care what brand you get, it don't matter, I'm just showing you what I use, okay? So, if you wanted to take it a step further, and I didn't bring it. Yes, I did. In turn, you got a jar that you want to turn into some of that funk right there. Look at that. You want to turn it into wine, then, okay, you're going to drop a packet of that in there. That's a whole nother creature right there. Whole nother animal. Okay, so again, I'm just going to be using my blender and I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. But before we get started, I want to show you exactly uh, how this batch is doing so far. Now, I started this batch on the first, on the first. So I'm going to bring you over here and I'm going to show you firsthand how this is looking, okay? All right, this is a batch right here that started on the first. Just a five gallon bucket worth. You gonna just? Ooh, ooh! Let me get a spoon. Got my wooden spoon. I'm the woo -woo -woo water boy. I got a woo -woo wooden spoon. So. I'm going to bring you over here so you can really get a good look at what I'm talking about. Can y'all see that? Okay. Okay. All of this is, you see this white stuff right here? Watch this. That's that mother building up. Now, I got a clear plate on top. I can just keep stirring it just like this. My fruit stays underwater. And I just keep stirring it every, every few days like that. Oh, I don't want my plate to drop again. And that's all to it. Woo, see? See that? Mm. Now, this is using white vinegar. That's that mother right there. It's starting to build up too. That's that mother. All right, Bert Richardson. I can see you, brother. Thank you, man. I'm going to just taste it just to see. Ooh. Ooh. That's a head banger. That's a head banger. Help my guts. Even more. Oh. I'm going to make sure you cover that up. Make sure we cover that back up because you don't want no gnats and stuff getting into it. Now, I'm going to show you something that's, that's fresh, okay? Now, this is what I did. I didn't explain this in this next video coming up. I took a normal uh, cheap from Walmart five-gallon bucket lid, and I cut this whole center out. And all it is is a ring clip. So I could just put my rag, my towel, 
or as you can see my shirt in here and just clip it down look tight as a drum you ain't got to worry about that no more no nothing can get in there so oh that's powerful okay let me set that to the side and we can get right off into it here so okay any questions before we get started Let me see. Please explain to me what the mother is. I'm gonna have you Google that, okay? You, we talked about that last night, but I'm, it's very, it's very important. You, you want to Google that and learn everything about it. I will literally be here for an hour telling you how beneficial that is. Please Google that. Uh, so no regular top over. No, you want, you want your stuff to breathe, okay? You want the air to be able to get in and out because that's how this works. All right. Uh, who was that just did that? Thank you. Uh, the hands in the, I don't want to, I can't see. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Just see, it just says hands in T. I don't know if that's hands in the dirt, hands in the soil. I got a couple brothers with that name. So, let me see. How many apples do I use for half a guy? You can use as many as you want. There is no recipe. There is no recipe, family. None. Do we need to, uh, after it's done, do we need to cut it with more water? If it got to come up to the neck, it got to come up to the neck. You want that thing to hit right off of the neck bone. Like this, I'm gonna show you. Ugh, I don't wanna drop that. You want that thing to hit right there in the neck. So you add more water until you get to that point. Now I'm gonna tell you why. You can use distilled water, you can use whatever kind you want. Out the sink, it ain't gonna matter with this. Not with what we're doing here. Uh, we ain't talking about the machine, we talk about vinegar today, okay? But this is it right here. You want that thing right in the neck of your jar, no matter how big your jar is. One thing you can make with no specific recipe. Amen. You don't need no recipe with this. Now, I'm sure there is specific recipes, but my vinegar tasting like money. You did. Uh, let me see. We ain't talking about. Uh, we, we Let's stay on track. Y'all worried about what's on the bucket on the side of me. What's behind me. We ain't talking about that today. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow is Solar Sunday. We're going to have a Solar Sunday power hour tomorrow. But today we're talking about how to get this vinegar, how to save our, our, get our health and our immunity up. Right now, everything is about our immunity. You don't, you can use the whole apple, the core, the stem, all of that. Uh, no, you don't need to get rid of the seeds. You don't need, listen, nature, it don't get rid of the seeds or nothing. Do it. It falls to the ground and turn to vinegar. You, you put in everything and you don't worry about getting rid of that stuff until it's, until you, if you want to strain it, that's totally up to you. For instance, when I finish letting this roll, see all that, uh, fruit crumbs at the bottom, then I'm going to strain that stuff out. But I want to hold on to as much of that as I can get that mother. Cause that stuff, that stuff is beneficial. After it break all the way down, that's the, that's the stuff. Put it like this. My wife can explain it to you better than I can because she's a certified health coach. And uh, I don't want to mess up her word. I don't want to mess up. But see, that's the stuff that keeps our immune system, your, your gut bacteria, your gut health. That's the stuff that help you lose weight. That's the stuff to keep your body in tune and keep your stuff running right. She could say it more professionally than I can because that's her that's her field. But I know what the get gut health does for you. That's the stuff make you feel like when you wake up, man, you can take on the world. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I keep taste testing this vinegar that I did. And every day I've been waking up like, damn, you know, I feel good. I ain't creaking down the steps. Nothing. I feel like, man, get up here and get some stuff done. Probiotics. There you go. 
That's like everybody making the kombucha and stuff. Same deal. This stuff starts you going, and you talk to any doctor, and they're going to tell you the same stuff. Uh, lead, do you discard fruit afterwards? Um, you can use that same fruit and hold, start a whole nother batch. Use the mother from that batch and some of that old fruit, start a whole new batch of vinegar. So, so far, I'm still reusing the same stuff. How long will it sit? That's totally... You know what? I've gotten that question about a hundred times or more. I'm just going to tell you this. We got to use our common sense. How long does vinegar last? Here's my, here's my answer to that for everybody. Have you ever seen vinegar go bad? I'm just going to say. The same process that we're doing here it's the same process of making wine. The longer you keep wine, the better it gets. It's kind of, this is why this is so wonderful. You don't got to can this and seal it tight. No, all of that stuff is fighting all the other bad bacteria off. This stuff don't go bad. Listen here. My mama done moved from Ohio to Atlanta to South Carolina, and I promise you she still got about two, two bottles of the same vinegar that we helped her move from Ohio with. And she still uses it. I'm not kidding with you. Vinegar is like wine. It basically kind of is wine. It just, it got that other kind of punch to it. So, uh, let me see. Don't call yourself dumb. Don't call yourself dumb because you just told the whole world you're an idiot. Uh, Jamming. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put don't do yourself like that. Cause you know what? If you start if you start telling making it dumb, you you just told everybody you're stupid. Now everybody gonna just start talking to you bad. Okay? Don't don't start your sin. Matter of fact, take that down for me. Okay? I don't want nobody thinking you stupid. Cause I don't believe that. Is apple cider vinegar the same as regular, just without the apple cider? I'm going to let you Google that, okay? I'm going to let you Google that. Don't call it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't call yourself dumb. Okay. Hands in the dirt. I'm female hands in the dirt. Okay. Wow. No wonder your, your um, thumbnail look different. Well, thank you, uh, lady hands in the dirt. I was about to say it's about two or three of y'all. Well, thank you for that. I thought it was my brother hands in the dirt. Okay. Do you store in a dark place to ferment or leave it on the counter? I'm going to tell you something. I store some in my cabinets, but I done left some out in the light too, and it's, it's just fine. We're on top of my refrigerator. It ain't dark because the sun is coming beaming straight over to the, to the um, refrigerator here. Any more questions? But please, my friend, don't call yourself dumb. You set yourself up. And then, and after a while, you even start believing it. You know, you ain't dumb. You ain't dumb. Matter of fact, you're brilliant for setting that up and make, make it sound like I'm going to ask a dumbass question. But if they think I'm dumb first, won't nobody be so hard on me. <laughs> so you so you brilliant. Uh, can vinegar be used in the garden too? Yes, it can. Okay, yes, yeah, so far, so two weeks is fine too. Two weeks is fine for what? Plastic bottles, okay. Think about it, think. They put vinegar, you can buy vinegar in plastic bottles or glass, right? Uh, you can flavor after it's done with honey or other fruit flavors. That's, to that's totally up to you. I've seen people do that, but I, I, don't, I, I don't understand it. I don't quite get it. I've heard ginger vinegar, but not garlic. Okay, let's get on to it. Let's get on to it. All right. I'm just, just, just for giggles, I'm, what I'm going to do is just get a, let's see. I'm going to chop some of this up. Let's 
especially this one busted one. I'm just get this chopped. And you can do whatever you want. If you don't want the seeds, leave the seeds out. If you do want the seeds, leave the seeds in. It's totally up to you, okay? This is no recipe, no recipe whatsoever. Y'all can't even see the dang thing. No recipe whatsoever. I'm getting started right now. You ain't gotta keep up with me because I'm not doing nothing where you need to follow it. I'm just telling you, if you wanna chop it up like that, now the only reason I did this is for folks that ain't got a blender. If you don't have a blender, do your best to chop as small as pieces as you can. That helps it break down. When it's breaking down, that helps it break down faster. Okay? So honestly, but let's break that all. So that's for my folks that do not have a blender. For my folks that have a blender, you ain't gotta do nothing that. For my people that got a blender, what we gonna do? Holla at Mr. Berkey real quick. Get a little water. First thing I'm going to do is put some water in here. I'm going to hit that right there. Second thing is I'm going to take, I'm going to take a whole apple. I'm going to put that boy in there. Now I got it plugged into my Jackery because uh, I couldn't find my extension cord. Okay. Go ahead, bust that like that. Just keep doing that. Again, there is no recipe to this whatsoever. gotta be like that matter of fact let me let me make this a little fast cut that sucker in fourths at least make it faster just throw that sucker in there just like that applesauce you can go buy you some applesauce and just start it if it ain't got no preservatives in it That's good enough right there. All right. So, give me two ticks. I'm going to try something a little different. This is what's so slick about this family. It's because we can do whatever we want. Instead of using white sugar. Okay. Let me see what any questions real quick. Make your own applesauce is better than store bought. I'm just saying if you just want to do whatever you want to do. That's, you know, totally up to you. 
Uh, you can use white sugar, but I'm gonna use some plain old brown sugar. I'm gonna put one cup in this. What what did you talk about, constant? What do you mean by lead? What is what is that? What what question is that? Is that got something to do with vinegar? Because I haven't said anything about uh, lead in vinegar or anything about that. So much easier than cutting. That's why I went this route. Now you'll be sitting there cutting all day. Now. Get you a jar. Make sure you can clean your jar out. And all I'm going to do. True story. I don't even know how much water I put in. Nothing. Watch this. And I'm going to just bust that down in there. Just like that. That's it. Now, I'm just going to finish filling it up with water over here, right to the neck. I'm going to kick him right in the neck. That's it. Don't get greedy. That, that might even be too much. The reason why I say to the neck, hold on, hold on. I got one more thing. As soon as I find it, there we go. Okay. As you can see, piece of my old shirt. Thank you, J-Mo. Thank you. One of my old shirts. A couple rubber bands for my, my job. And it's going to be this simple. Watch this. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, we forgot. we forgot the sugar. Let's add the sugar. Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. Don't know how to behave. Oh, I'm gonna put a whole cup of sugar in that boy. This is a half cup. That's why I'm doing it like this. The apples is plenty of sugar. It's plenty of sugar in there. You don't necessarily have to use sugar. You don't have to. But it just, it gives the bacteria something to eat on. And as a matter of fact, I got one that I, I forgot to put the sugar in and it started doing good, but then it started stalling out. And all I did was come back about a week later and add a cup of sugar and it, it oh, it got funky. Woo! That thing started working so good. I said, I might do that next time. Just let it start by itself first, you know? And there you go. I promise you it's that easy. I told you it's going to be that easy. Now, it's stirred up. It's ready to go. You want something breathable. Do not put a normal lid on here. You want, you want this to be able to breathe. The bacteria in it is alive. It breathes oxygen just like me and you. You want that thing to be able to breathe, okay? Um, and here's, a, do I do all organic? If you want to do all organic, do it. Here's the other thing. If you do seal this airtight, this will explode. Ask me how I know. This whole jar will explode. I wonder if you use honey and organic. You could use whatever you want. I, again, this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm showing you exactly what I'm doing. And then when folks find out they, they way ain't working, they be like, mine didn't do nothing. Do it, do it the way somebody's showing you first, and then go ahead and throw your spin on it. Just do it so it, it worked first. And then do an experiment. So you get your rubber band. I'm being too, I'm being too gentle with this. You get your rubber band. I like to double, double it over. And put that around the neck. That way can't no insect get to it. Or you can even do something this slip. When you use, when you use like a cotton t-shirt or a thin t-shirt, because sometimes I use a towel. But if you use a normal 
thin t-shirt, cotton t-shirt, you can still use your ring. You don't need no rubber band. Watch this. Airtight. You can play the drums on that. That's it. We done. Now I'm going to put a date on it. I'm going to put today's date on it. And I'm going to be done. Hey, Kelly Homestead with Pooh Bear. What's up, ma? That's it. Put a date on it. Go put it in the closet. Man, and come back in 30 days and see what happened. That's it. That's it. Most of this was me talking. I want you to think about it. Bypass the me talking and walking back and forth getting my utensil. And just look how long it took me to do this. <sighs> Done. Can you use mesh screen? You can use whatever you want to. I just showed you what I use. If you use mesh screen and you use things with the holes is too big, this is what's going to happen. Gnats and, and fruit flies can lay eggs through that screen. Now, you can go use whatever you want to. I've been making wine for 20 years. And I know one thing, that mesh screen and stuff like that, man, you're going to get something in there. You, you go use what you want. Please, please, just try it. Try what I'm showing you first, and then go put your twist on it. Once you see mine come out right, then go put your twist on it. Because uh, I promise you, this is... Where, where, that, where that boy go? This is going to work. This is going to work. Here go the finished product right here. What I just showed you work. Now, if you want to go using pine water and rain water and uh, manuka honey and sugars and uh, sweeteners from the, the Alps, I, that's totally up to you. Damn permaculture food forge. What's up, my brother? What's up, man? Look, hey, I brought out some pineapples, man, for you. As a matter of fact, I brought these pineapples out, so this is what we're going to do for my man. Dan Permaculture Food Force is in the house, everybody. He's in the blue. He's my moderator. If you can go check out his channel, he's going to show you more of stuff growing like this. So if you thought my pineapple growing video was banging, that man got all kind of stuff growing like no, no big deal. Okay, I'm talking about Barbados, cherries, pineapples, guavas, you name it, all that tropical stuff. You will spend an arm and a leg for in the store. Damn, Permaculture Food Forest is in the house. Please go check out his channel. So, with that being said, anytime, damn man, you know you're the man. You know I'm going to be messing with these pineapples and stuff because of you. So, I'm going ahead, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and bust this pineapple. Just to show you how easy it is, we only in 38 minutes and most of it been me talking. So, uh, oh, 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 somebody told me about vinegar. Uh, let me tell you something. If you smoking some meat, now it ain't, some of y'all terms of that ain't right. But if you smoking some meat and you hitting that boy with some good vinegar, Let me shut up. My mouth water. I'm hungry as a hostage. I promise you, you get some good vinegar on some fish or fish fry. Man, look, don't, it, don't go to no fish fry if they ain't got no vinegar. You ain't got no vinegar at a fish fry as you foaming at the mouth. That's your family garden. What's up, brother? My man in the house. All right, Sunday Backyard Farmer. What's going on, bro? Man, if you ain't got no vinegar at a fish fry, do you understand that? Oh, that's like going to the club and they serve water. Man, is you man, is you crazy? Is you you ask a woman out on a date and you rode a bicycle to her house? Is you crazy? No, no, man. You go to a fish fry mess. So it got to be a big jug of vinegar somewhere. Some vinegar, not not necessarily even. There's two two things you fish fry. Not even tartar sauce. Tartar sauce, that's a little bougie, okay? Tartar sauce, you cool. That, a little bougie, though. To me, tartar sauce is for fish sticks. Tartar sauce is for fish sticks. You go into a fish fry, you need two things. Hot sauce and vinegar. That's the condiment for everything at the doggone fish fry. I got some french fries. Hot sauce. 
Don't even use no ketchup. Vinegar and hot sauce at a fish fry. Period. If somebody pulls some mustard or some ketchup up out their purse, man, I might put you out. I might put you out the fish fry. At least give you a timeout. You can't. You can't get. You can't get that first. That first batch of fish. That first batch to be golden brown. You can't get that batch if you pull some of that ketchup and mustard out your bag. Why don't bring that over here? That's blasphemy. <laughs> you go to a fish fry and you bring that garbage out your purse. Don't bring that over here. I take that. That's 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 a threat to me. You understand? That's almost that's borderline terrorism. If you bring some ketchup and mustard over to my house and, uh, over a fish fry, don't do that to me. Don't do it. That's you. That's a that's a personal insult. It's hot sauce and it's vinegar, and we already got the one knocked out. Now this summer we're gonna be making some some hot sauce out of our own peppers. A lot of y'all gardeners in here already do it. We're gonna be doing that again, making some hot sauce. Uh uh. Aunt Four Barbecue made barbecue sauce and made hot. Aunt Four Barbecue sent me some cherry hot sauce. You know what? That junk's so good, I, I gotta get it. Give me two ticks. We going this is how we gonna change the game right here. All right, my girl, uh, 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 mama, daughter, sister, my good friend, mama, daughter, sister. She sent me some of her special homemade hot sauce right out of her garden. You dig? This is my friend, mama, daughter, sister sent me that. I keep all y'all stuff, by the way. Y'all got your own personal cabinet. I got Riders Tears. I got all y'all liquors and bottles y'all done sent me. Dig this. Now, Ant Four Barbecue, my man. Let me make sure it ain't your address on there. Okay, Ant Four Barbecue sent me cherry hot sauce, son. He sent me cherry hot sauce. I did a video this summer, and you know, sent it to me. That that wasn't this summer. That was like last summer, before the stuff popped off. And I tasted, I tasted that right there. Man, I almost lost my damn mind. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Now, Aunt, if you're in the house, I done told you, man. Stop playing, man, and make me a crate of this. Make me a crate. I, I, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy it. Cherry hot sauce. And here's the crazy part. It tastes like hot, sweet maraschino cherries. Got my... Got my mouth watering, boy. And my man, and for barbecue in the house. I believe he in here, and he might be my mo he my moderator. Please, please, man, you got to bless the world with some more of this cherry hot sauce. And I'm not saying that because we friends. I'm saying that because, man, I don't know why you ain't rich, and I'm begging you, please, 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 please listen to my demo because, bruh, woo, woo, it's like that. So, I don't have no links to the hot sauces. These is personal friends of mine. They just friends of mine and they be really doing it. All my friends, man, we re they really doing it. They ain't even selling this stuff. They just like, they hit, hit them with bangers like that. And I'm like, man, do you understand you could be rich? Please, man. So, um, so we're going to be making hot sauce. I got Lady Led already got a whole bunch of vanilla. She making vanilla, fresh, real vanilla. Please, can you make vinegar from carrot, celery? You can make vinegar from celery. Oh, is that a question? Yes, 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 you can. You can make it from any, anything. That's totally up to you. That's totally up to you. You can make wine out of dandelions. You can make wine and vinegar out of grass and dandelions. It don't even got to be fruit. That's the sweet part about, uh, um, I can't even think of dang on word. Uh, um, uh, 
Our fermentation. Damn, that word, that where was that head hiding at? The sweet part about fermentation, you can make, you can ferment almost anything. You can ferment almost anything. Rose buds, rose hips, roses, all the flowers, hibiscus. You can make, do you understand, family? We grow in every medication for fun that we don't even know if we if we did that. We could actually, I'm, I'm going to take that down, Beverly. Yeah, you, you, I'm with you, though. But, yeah. We growing all the stuff that could save our life right here in our garden trying to be cute. Boom. Man, I'm telling you. For real, you can make, I made wine out of sweet potatoes. Do you understand that's how crazy that is? Making wine. Out of sweet potatoes. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. But. But. It is drinkable. And you can turn it into something else. Survival skills. That's stuff you need to know man. Everything out here man. Is edible. Is medicinal. You just got to be in charge of what it is. You got to find out what you can use and what you can't. Go order some books and find out. I got all kind of books that teach you everything out here. What's edible, what's not. What's useful, what's medicinal, and what's not. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and bust this pineapple real quick. We got an apple right here that I'm going to put to the side because I got to mark it. And I use brown sugar on that. I'm going to use brown sugar on this pineapple too. Ask me why. I don't know. I just feel like it. that's what I'm liking about the vinegar. That's what I'm liking about this vinegar. Hold on a minute. What is that? Aim for the head. Aim for the head. All right. So I'm going to get right into this right here. <clears throat> I'm going to put this pineapple off to the side. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these apples in there. Why not? Why not? Pine, apple. Why not? These are just the scraps I cut up for an example that you don't necessarily need no blender. It'll do just fine, just like it is. Now, we're going to use this big mama here. Now, this is going to be tricky for me because I've never made pineapple. Well, let's start like this. I've never made pineapple vinegar before. See, that's that funky piece. See that? That's what I was telling you. That's going to go in there too. See how deep that go. Not very deep. I'm going to go ahead and put that, all, that whole thing in there cut his butt off that's getting tough on that sucker now remember we need all the pieces of this even the butt I'm putting the, doing the butt in there putting all that in there now You can put in whatever you want. That's the sweet part about this. You ain't got to listen to Paula Dean tell you need more butter and none of that. Do whatever you like. It's like, it's like digital underground. Do what you like. Ain't no rules to this game. Now, see, I'm going to make these pieces thick because I'm going to eat that pineapple. I don't care what you say about it. I'm going to bust him up. I'm going to cut, cut some big chunks off of it, you know, like this. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice one little chunk for, the, you know, for my dead homies. All right, now I'm going to go ahead, add a little water to that right there. I might have overstuffed it, but we about to find out if we did or not. 
Yeah. Yeah, that sucker like, ah. Ah. I'm going to have to buy her a new blender. Let me add some more water. This is for my homies. This is for my homies. See you when I get there. With that gasoline, that gasoline. This is for my homies. This is for my homies. See you when I get there. Ah, uh, see, I'm trying to go too fast. Trying to go too fast, fellas. It's blender light. Take it easy. That blender light, man, you need to go sit down somewhere. I just want, I just want it to be a little bit more, little bit more juicy than that. With that gangster lean, that gangster lean. jar right here and I'm gonna go ahead and where my sugar at? I'm gonna throw that sugar at the bottom throw a whole thing of sugar on that sucker brown sugar brown sugar baby it's high up and I'm gonna be here I want some of your brown sugar all right now all I'm gonna do I'm going to just bust him down like this. This is old pineapple guts. See you when I get there. I done went too far. I'll pull some of that off in a minute. I think the demonstration is over. With that gasoline. Stir that suck up a little bit. And some people like, man, that ain't how you make no vinegar. Well, make some see. You tell me. Now, if I really want to get gangsta, I just pour half of this. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take that sucker. I'm going to put half it in a whole nother jar, fill it up with water, I'm get gangsta on you. I'm going to do two for one. Two for one right there. And throw a couple chunks of juicy pineapple booties in there. There you go. Bam! Fill that suck up with some more water. Take him to the top. Just keep on rising to the top. Give it all you got, give it all you got. Keep rising to the top. Mm -hmm. That's all to it, man. I'm about to run out of water out of this murky. I started out on E. We're going to at least get one, one to the neck. There we go. He in the neck. Put him in the neck of the woods. Come on, come on to the neck. Right there, right there. There it is. We got enough. We got barely enough. My people always got barely enough that we make it work. We always have just enough. But we makes it work, don't we? So, if you ain't got no t-shirt, you can use whatever you want. But you know, I got me a whole bunch of pieces of this boy right here. This was a big shirt. It's one of my, <laughs> it's one of my old shirts, huh? It's a lot, I was a lot bigger than I am now, so it's a lot of material. <laughs> uh, boom. Two whole new covers right there. Now, all I'm going to do now, I don't stir them up. Let me stir them up again now that I put the water in there. 
I done doubled it. I done doubled that boy. These is half gallons anyway. It don't even make no difference. Put that on there. Double my rubber band. Put it around there. Boom, tighten him up. Tight as a drum. Put the date on him. Another rubber band. Double him up. Boom. Tight as a drum. There it is. So this is going to be my pineapple. I'm going to leave this over here because I don't want to get it mixed up with my apple. Now, damn permaculture food forest. That was for you, man. That was just for you. I literally bought them pineapples so I could do that. So, why no rinse out the blender? You ain't even got to be worried about what I'm doing in my kitchen. If you, you about to rinse yours out, rinse it out. This ain't got nothing to do with my, my, my kitchen cleanliness. This got to do with, can you make some vinegar? You ain't got to rinse out nothing. If you want to rinse stuff out, do it. Do it. See, you, you, you're missing the message for the mess. Don't, don't miss the message for the mess. You get sidetracked doing too much other nonsense. Or thinking too much. Or talking about stuff that ain't got enough people like, what generator is that? Who cares? You talk about vinegar. Stay right here with me. Stay, stay right in there. That's it. Okay? Because once we start talking about other stuff, man, we, you know how I am, man. I'll venture off down some dark alley all by myself. So, that's it. We literally just made the beginning of pineapple vinegar. And we're going to be doing updates on everything I done made. This is the pineapple. Here go the... Here go the, I don't even know what kind of apples them was. Here's the apple right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this in two and put it in this other jar I got too. Man, that's easy. We ain't even been in here an hour and I've made two gallons of vinegar. Pineapple and apple. That's it. It don't it don't get no easier than that. It don't get no easier than that. Any question? Any question before we get up out of here? How long till vinegar is ready? Um, it depends on what how you like it. Um, I've been letting mine roll for thirty days. This one is thirty days old, <clears throat> over thirty days, but it still got a hint hint of sweetness to it i'm just gonna let that sucker just keep rolling it ain't it ain't gonna hurt nothing but go back and check it in about 30 days just go back and check it in 30 days ain't no rules man this this is not hgtv what well, they telling you all that stuff man this this is hti you know what that is hood technical institute we doing stuff our way let them folks do stuff they way, and we're going to show them our way work, too. And I'm going to tell you this, okay? That's the part that we keep missing. Everything ain't got to be done they way. Our way work, too. Our way done got us here for a long time. And it's time for the world to start seeing that our way works too. It ain't as polished and primped as most would like. Okay? It's not on a silver platter. But it worked. And the world need to know that. Let me tell you something. Let me, for instance, for instance, Hood HTI, Hood Technical Institute. That's my next shirt. I promise you this. Remember chicken wings? Remember them? Yeah, one of the hottest foods and one of the best restaurants across the world right now. Chicken wings, hot wings, right? Buffalo wings. That was some hood food. That was ghetto food. That was food for the poor. Now look. Once folks start finding out our way works too, Okay. For some reason, it, it becomes a, a multi-trillion dollar enterprise. So 
So all my ways ain't gonna be polished like on HGTV or some of these other channels. It ain't gonna be. Cause I ain't polished. Somebody said oxtails, man. You might as well buy a T-bone steak for an oxtail pack of oxtails now. You get four oxtails in that pack, you'd be, be, you be better off getting you a porterhouse steak. You're going to pay the same price for oxtails now and a pack of chicken wings, just about 12 chicken wings in a pack. You might as well go ahead and get yourself a, a nice, thick, two-inch ribeye steak. Them prices is outrageous. Huh? So... Any questions before I go? We already have one hour. HTI is my next t-shirt. It's going to be simple, just like this. Hood Technical Institute. Ain't always got to go to Harvard. The School of Hard Knocks is educational, too. Everybody ain't going to make it to Harvard. Everybody ain't going to make it to the MBA. Filter or no, that's completely up to you. Just do exactly what you just seen me do today. Don't don't do no twist turns on just do exactly what you just seen me do. And I promise you it's gonna work. 30 days you're gonna have vinegar. Delicious vinegar. That's right. Mm. What can I use vinegar for? I can't I can't give you that. What can you use vinegar for? If you ain't got no use for vinegar, uh, don't make none. Don't be, don't make it because you ain't got nothing better to do. Okay, Miss Craft in the house. Miss Craft, Miss Craft is here. She is my moderator in the blue. Miss Craft is in the house. Miss Craft is going to teach me how to make kabucha. That's just for you, Miss Craft. You're going to teach me. I got one jar left. I got one jar left. And I'm saving it for you. You're going to teach me how to make that doggone kombucha. You got me doing this after all these years, everybody. Miss Craft here in the blue, my moderator, got me making doggone. She be, I got her making wine. She said, you ever had kombucha? I don't know what kombucha is. I'm not even quite sure how to how to pronounce it or spell it, but no. Um, and you're talking about my high school years. Me and her were just friends. <laughs> we was just friends. <laughs> I was just friends with that exchange dude, you know. Our name was something like that. Kamichi or something. It sounds too much like that. Kabucha, Kamichi. We were just friends. But she asked me, you had, you had some kombucha? We were, we were just cool. So, <laughs> so uh, Miss Crab is going to teach me how to make, finally, some kombucha. Uh, Miss Crab, you set it up. You set it up, and I kid you not. If it's this easy, I'm ready to do it. We could do that as a, uh, as a, them things I hate. What's them things, uh, stream yard or whatever. We could do that. I don't care. But I'm ready whenever you ready. Huh? I hate that stream yard thing, man. I don't like that. Because everybody keep talking like, because we keep talking over each other like there's some kind of, oh, oh, you go. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. Oh, uh, because I hate that, man. Then I lose my train of thought. So, uh, so, oh, get some SCOBY. Get some scoby. Y'all know how y'all know how it is when you uh, you on with somebody else and it's lagging a little bit. Uh, say how old am I? Look, buy me a drink first. <laughs> you sound old. I can't ever drink. Yeah, I can't. No. Buy me a drink first. Some be like, you know what kind of drawers you got on, man? Hey. What? I'm just saying, when I hear stuff like that, it be personal questions. You know? Size socks you wear. What? I'm kidding with you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She, and she over here like, what is you talking about? I'm kidding with you, my friend. I'm kidding, okay? 
I'm just joking. If you're new to the channel, you you might not be used to this yet. I'm just messing with you. I'm almost 50 years old. Oh, you old. <laughs> you almost 52. <laughs> come here, come here. Let me let me show you my almost 50 year old baby right here. Brown sugar baby. I'm I not get almost high of your love. Don't I'm know how to behave. 50. You're not even supposed to give no kind of clues into the age. No, of a woman. I meant 50 days old. Then I would be a baby. You my baby. See that game, young folks. Pick that up, fellas. You hear that? That game was tight. I even got to write that down myself. You hear that? Did you see what Miss Williams said? What she said? Uh, clean up her kitchen. <laughs> I'm about to, Miss Williams. I'm about to, cause I got a whole mess here. Y'all seen? I got a whole mess. But yeah, this is this is my brown sugar baby. That's y'all keep saying. Why he keeps singing that song? I'm not brown almost sugar 50. baby. Shh. I don't get high off your love. Don't know how to behave. I want some Happy of your Saturday, brown sugar. Let me get back over here. Yeah, you get back over there. Ooh. Yeah, you want some of this pineapple, girl? Yes, Look, I I'll pay your rent. I'll I buy. don't want that. I just want a piece. You don't Somebody. want that. I don't want to give you this. That's that's a juicy center though. Yeah, all I need yeah, is the size. There you go. <laughs> I guess high off your love. Don't know how to behave. You're making crazy faces. I'm I'm not. I you hear you making I'm not, girl. I'm not. You need to have came in here a little later on. You done got me disturbed. Okay. You stop it. <laughs> okay, you can put the dishes in there. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, baby. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'll let you take care of that. Ah, uh, it's okay. So, I better stop making crazy faces. So, uh, <laughs> baby oil. <laughs> Anyway, did everybody did everybody make this with me? How many people actually did this today? How many people just actually did this with me? Um, how many people actually made it? Hands, hand up, or or um, or right hand? I don't care. How many people actually did this? So we can all see in about 30 days. In about 30 days. All right. All right. That's what I want to see. Just show me in 30 days. You use canned pineapple? It is. That might have some preservatives in it that may stop it. If, if your fruit... If it's anything like wine, if it has preservatives in it, it won't, it will keep killing off the bacteria. So you might want to look into that. Because I know when I make wine, if I use something like a frozen fruit juice, if it has, uh, oh my God, what is it? It's been so long. Uh, oh, 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 sorbate. Uh, oh, with potassium sorbate in it. If it has potassium sorbate in it or potassium, I can't remember the other one, it won't do right. Thank you, Miss Crow. Potassium sorbate. If it has potassium sorbate, it won't activate right. Yeah, that's my baby. That's <laughs> Tell you, man. Um, let me see. You so welcome, uh, Black to My Roots. Said, didn't do it with you, but I will do it. That's okay. I just wanted to show the world how easy it was. And stop, we don't got to buy their vinegar no more. I got literally, oh, what did I do with the bucket? Five gallons over here. I already had another five gallons. I got five gallons on the refrigerator. And I, it's getting, it's getting ridiculous. But I literally probably have a lifetime supply of vinegar just with what I did in the last good two months. Uh, you can 
you can't use other water. What what does that mean? Would acidity be too good for canning? If you, you gotta te use test strips and check it. I'm not saying that you can't, because here's the thing. Um what how do they get it to the perfect uh pH, right? I think if you work on it and get yours to the perfect pH, you can. I don't think you can right out the gate like what we're doing right now, but I think you have to make some adjustments. So I'm not going to say yay or nay on that. Ah, that's good. Let me see. HTI, you don't always have to go to Harvard. No, you do not. You don't always have to make it to Harvard. Here at HTI, we pretty much accept everybody with common damn sense. Please, join us now. HTI, that's my commercial. That's Your only enrollment is common sense. <laughs> that's your only application. And, you know, you sit in, in there in front of the dean and you ain't got to fill out no applications. He's just going to ask you dumb questions like, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yeah, how you answer that? If you answer it like, what the hell is you talking about? You're in. Come <laughs> <I'm> on in. <laughs> Welcome to HTI. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Now sit there. Take up your whole family life savings and stuff. So they can go in there and tell you you inferior. See, the, the thing about HTI, Hood Technical Institute, what people don't see in the world is we're the ones that's actually making the world work. The only difference is we're not getting the fame for what we do at Hood T at HTI, okay? HTI alumni. We don't get credit because... Our jobs is the dirty jobs in the basement, in the sewers. We're the ones that keep this big monster breathing. Now, the guys in the ties, they're the ones to get all the credit and recognition for what they do. They don't give us no credit. So I'm here to change that. Start giving credit back to the people that really built this. We built this city. <laughs> We're going to start giving credit back to the people that deserve it. The people that make this whole big animal. The earth is an animal. Do you understand me? The earth is a creature. It's a living being. And it's time we start balancing things out. Giving credit where credit is due. So. No more just because he the janitor. Ain't nobody else cleaning up that puke or that poop in the, in the doggone hallway. Ain't nobody else cleaning out no gutters and no toilets. We don't give credit to the people that truly deserve it. We don't. And that's, that's going to stop on this channel. We don't give. And I, I told somebody, this was a while back. They were talking about what they said to a, a fast food worker. Don't come on my channel with that. Don't come on my channel with that because if they wasn't important, you wouldn't have been in the drive-thru at that restaurant in the first place. You was hungry. You ain't have time. Meaning the person, even if it's a, it's a little kid serving you that burger out the window, he became, you better treat that kid like you're going for a job interview, making six figures a year because that's how important that burger is all of a sudden. You hungry, you ain't got time, your kids back there turned around backwards in the doggone car seat. One of them is back there in the groceries, you don't know how she got out, and you just want to get them fed and in the bed. That little burger guy is your last resort. Treat him with respect. Just like you would be calling on a police officer to come help you with a situation, that burger guy deserved that same uh, uh, crucial emergency type of respect. <laughs> so here on this channel at HTI Hood Technical Institute, I'm giving credit to all the underdogs. It ain't just to the to the lawyers and the doctors, not on this channel. We give it to the janitors, the plumbers, 
the electricians, the dudes that can't quite pull their pants all the way up or they just like their butt crack out while they fixing sinks, that's, you get the credit. Cement layers, brick layers, carpenters, the people that make this whole thing work. Firemen and them, they just don't get no love. Right? So, that's all to it, y'all. We done. We done. We've been in here way too long. I said an hour, and that's it. So, everybody, I think I'm going to go ahead and make that shirt today. HTI. All right? So, thank you guys so much. I hope you make this vinegar. Is this easy? Come on and do this. It's, it's just this doggone simple. So, I don't even know if I'm going to release that last video. Here I come, baby, right now. I don't even know if I'm going to release that last vinegar video because this, this pretty much did it. All right. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Live Farmer 73. I love y'all and I'm out. Uh, please make that shirt. I am going to make that shirt and I'm going to announce it, put it in my community post. I need that made like ASAP because I've been saying it for the longest, but it's time to make it. All right. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you, SEI Family Garden, Dan Permaculture Food Forest, Miss Crab, uh, Sunday Backyard Garden, and everybody else, and all my other moderators in the house. Thank you so much. And always, you know what I say, aim for the head. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. Come in the movies, making all that noise, spilling popcorn, man. Ah, let it go. Gotta go. Thank you so much, you guys. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. And tomorrow... I think we're going to be doing a solar video. It's going to be Solar Sunday Power Hour. I got a couple of treats I want to show you. All right? Left Farm 73, I love you, and I'm out.